For decades, mankind has been searching for a clean and unlimited energy source. Natural resources like petrol, gas and oil are limited. At the same time, renewable sources like solar and wind power are dependent. They rely on a breezy day or a cloudless sky, which we can't always count on. But unlike them, nuclear fusion is a clean, safe, environmentally sustainable and also a near limitless resource. The only problem with nuclear fusion energy is that humans have not been able to control and contain it until now. Since the 1930s, scientists have known that the sun and other stars generate their energy by nuclear fusion. They realized that if fusion energy generation could be replicated in a controlled manner on Earth, it might provide a safe, clean, and inexhaustible energy source. Since the 1950s, scientists have been developing a safe fusion reactor, and now, after 70 years, their efforts are being rewarded. In the quest for unlimited and clean energy, China has made a breakthrough with their artificial sun that's supposed to act like a mini star on Earth and create infinite clean energy via nuclear fusion. In the core of the sun, huge gravitational pressures allow energy to be released by forcing together atomic nuclei rather than by splitting them, which happens at temperatures of around 10 million Celsius. At the much lower pressures that are possible on Earth, temperatures to produce fusion need to be much higher, above 100 million Celsius. No materials exist that can withstand direct contact with such heat. So, to achieve fusion in a lab, scientists have devised a solution in which a superheated gas, or plasma, is held inside a donut-shaped magnetic field. The Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, abbreviated to EAST, is a nuclear fusion reactor located in Hofei, China. The reactor is structured in a donut shape, also known as a tokamak. It is capable of producing a high-temperature plasma that's kept under control by powerful electromagnets operating at hundreds of degrees below zero. Magnetic coils are wrapped around the donut to keep the plasma suspended and away from the tube's interior walls. This design aims to get the machine to temperatures suitable for a controlled thermonuclear fusion process, which involves fusing the nuclei of light atoms together and extracting the energy that results. According to Chinese researchers, they have achieved three goals. An operational period of over 1,000 seconds, a temperature of 160 million degrees, and a current of 1 million amperes. EAST is designed to achieve the same nuclear fusion reaction that takes place in the sun by utilizing the abundant deuterium in the sea to provide a constant stream of clean energy. We know that fossil fuels like oil, natural gas and coal are finite. They're a threat to the environment, but the artificial sun made by China will use limitless elements on our planet. Many people have compared East to a floating sphere of light that was launched into the sky, but in reality, it's a donut-shaped reactor chamber where heated up plasma is trapped with a powerful magnetic field. Unlike our natural sun, the purpose of EAST is not to become a source of heat or light, but to generate an enormous amount of clean energy that researchers hope to harvest to power cities. Its nickname, the Artificial Sun, comes from our own nuclear fusion reactor in the sky, our sun. Before EAST, Torre Supra Tokamak of France held the world record for the longest plasma duration time of any tokamak reactor at six and a half minutes in 2003. South Korea's Korea Superconducting Tokamak Advanced Research, or K-STAR, reactor set a world record in 2016 by maintaining 50 million degrees Celsius, i.e. 90 million degrees Fahrenheit, for 70 seconds. East broke the record of K-STAR in 2021 sustaining around 119 million degrees Celsius for, for 102 seconds. EAST also set another record in May by running for 101 seconds at an unprecedented 120 million degrees Celsius. You may be wondering why nuclear fusion has so much importance. The reason behind this is that it produces no greenhouse gases and leaves no radioactive waste. 
Safe and controlled fusion energy is considered the holy grail of energy sources and the ultimate energy source for the future of humanity. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, nuclear fusion has no related atmospheric emissions. The process makes helium, a non-toxic gas, unlike carbon dioxide and radioactive tritium. While tritium may sound concerning, its half-life is only about a century, making it less environmentally harmful than other energy sources. The East Fusion Reactor is estimated to have cost China more than $1 trillion in total. Fusion on the Sun is a natural process made possible by the physical pressures of our galaxy, providing even pressure to the surface of the Sun. The pressure squeezes hydrogen gas in the Sun's core so immensely that nuclei combine to form one atom, releasing an incredible amount of energy. But on Earth, we have to supply all of the pressure to keep the reaction going, and it has to be perfectly even. It's hard to do this for any length of time and requires an immense amount of energy. When the pressure is uneven or drops, the reactions will fizzle out in minutes or seconds. But the latest record of 120 million degrees and 101 seconds is a huge step towards sustaining longer and hotter reactions. Andrew Holland, the CEO of the Fusion Industry Association, an international association that boasts more than 20 fusion companies in the private sector as members, says that the reactor success in China points to a bright future for renewable energy. EAST is a project by China, but it is a part of a larger collaboration project in France known as the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITA, which is set to be the world's largest nuclear reactor. Along with China, more than 35 countries, including the entire European Union, the United Kingdom, India and the United States, are taking part in it. ITER contains the world's most powerful magnet, able to produce a magnetic field 280,000 times stronger than Earth's own magnetic field. China is responsible for manufacturing 9% of ITER's components and is playing a major role in core technologies like magnetic containment and the production of components that can withstand temperatures of over 100 million degrees Celsius. ITER is scheduled to generate the first plasma by 2025. A demonstration reactor will then be built to create 500 megawatts of power from just 50 megawatts of input, a tenfold return on energy. EAST is not the only nuclear fusion project in China. China is working simultaneously on a new tokamak fusion device that will be completed by the early 2030s. China is progressing very rapidly in different areas from physics to aerospace, and now it has proven to have a promising future in the field of nuclear fusion physics. According to Xinhua News, the East reactor was able to keep the plasma stable at high temperatures for 1,056 seconds which is 17.6 minutes. This is a significant improvement from the previous record of 101 seconds set in the middle of last year. Today, we are facing the problems like rising global temperatures and more energy demand, and fusion is the only available solution to our problems. It's a technology that could safely produce an immense and reliable source of energy, harnessing abundant fuel made from seawater to ignite the same reaction that powers the sun. It would produce no greenhouse gases and minimal waste compared to conventional energy sources. Fusion is more potent than fission. While fission takes place in atom bombs, uranium and plutonium split and release energy. In fusion, the nuclei of small atoms stick together, fusing to create a new element and releasing energy. The energy released is said to be very useful by researchers, and that's why they are focusing their time on deriving a way to harness it. But it is a very tricky thing to do. To make fusion useful, scientists need to trigger it in a controlled way that yields far more energy than they put in. Teams worldwide are studying different ways to accomplish this, but the approaches tend to fall into two broad categories. One involves using magnets to contain the plasma. 
This is the approach used by ITER, the world's largest fusion project currently under construction in southern France that we discussed before. The other category involves confining the fusion fuel and compressing it in a tiny space with the aid of lasers. It is used by the National Ignition Facility, NIF, at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California. The advancements in nuclear fusion reactors to harness the energy for the betterment of humankind is extremely promising. Now you know more about this technology, would you support it in your country? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Velocity. Give the video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one.